Hi, it's Charlie Minotta from Halflow.com, and today I am looking at this, the Govee thermometer and hygrometer. More specifically, I'm actually looking at this, which is the Govee Bluetooth thermometer and hygrometer. And this is what we call a smart hygrometer. So it's a hygrometer which measures relative humidity and temperature to important statistics for your humidor, and it sends that data to your smartphone, either an iOS or an Android device. And it serves both as a hygrometer, like a traditional one, where you can see the data in real time, but also it provides you with the ability to log the data so you can see historical performance and even get alerts and notifications and recommendations about things that you should do. Smart hygrometers have been around for a handful of years, I would say, but they were really janky and, and hard to use um, up until pretty recently. So in the last two years, we've seen two devices that have really impressed me, the first of which is this. It's called the Sensor Push, and it's a $50 smart hygrometer. It's quite small. As you can see, it's only a little bit larger than a bottle cap, and it does exactly what it sounds like. So it measures relative humidity and temperature. It sends that to your iOS or your Android device. You can sort of have as many of these. I'm sure there's some sort of scientific limit to how many you can have, but we haven't hit that number yet, and we've got over a dozen of them. And it can do it over Wi-Fi, which means you can access it anywhere in the world. It does it over Bluetooth, um, which means you can do it locally. And it's great. The only problem is they're $50 and uh, no one's really ever heard of Sensor Push and it kind of looks weird and trying to get someone to pay $50 for this little rectangular box is kind of weird. Um, and so the device that's come up more recently, which I think has led to a lot more people using smart hygrometers is this. It's called the Boveda Butler. It was originally called the Boveda um, Smart Sensor. It was introduced about a year ago, and it retails for $20, but perhaps most importantly is sold in stores, in cigar shops, from a name that people are quite familiar with in Bovida. Now, it works very similar to the Sensor Push. The one big difference is it doesn't have a Wi-Fi edition, so you can't access it anywhere in the world, but it's less than half the price. Now, my one complaint with both these devices is that neither one has a screen. And so what that means, if you go to open up your humidor and you want to just get a quick reading about what your relative humidity or temperature is, you can't. You got to pull out your smartphone. You got to find an app that you probably aren't using that often. You got to pull the app up. You got to make sure that it's Bluetooth paired or whatever. And then you get the data and then you fool around with the app for a few minutes or whatever. But it's not as easy as a traditional hygrometer where you just open it up, you see the screen, you hope that your batteries aren't dead and you go from there. And so I've always said that the sort of dream device would be one of these two, but with a screen. And that is in fact what the Govee tries to solve. It's a smart hygrometer with a screen. Now, it comes with uh, one noticeable uh, disadvantage, which is that it's much larger than either one of these devices. In particular, it's substantially larger than the Bovida. And while it's larger than both of these devices, it's actually not that bad as far as uh, hygrometers go. So you can see here is an Accurite hygrometer, which uh, is interestingly enough not displaying anywhere close to the same relative humidity as, or temperature for that matter, as the Gobi. Um, and you can see that the Gobi's smaller in most just about every way. Um, and despite that, the screen, at least for the temperature, is actually the, the font's basically the same size. Um, now, I will say that if you had to want, if you're wondering which one of these two devices is more accurate, it is in fact the Govi. Um, I measured this to be within about 0.2, two tenths of a percent of relative humidity accuracy, which is pretty damn good regardless of whether it's a smart hygrometer or not. We, we rarely see anything that's 100% calibrated out of the box. And we oftentimes see that the hygrometers are uh, over a percent off and most manufacturers say that they're about 3% is the, the range um, from being off uh, right out of the box. So you should always calibrate your hygrometers. And as far as a basic hygrometer, the Gobi works quite well. My only real quirk with it is I don't know what this button does. It will eventually change things to Celsius. But if I just keep hitting it, 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 it will eventually cycle through like random things. I don't know what's going on here. Anyway, and the, the instructions are completely useless on this point, other than to change the, the Celsius Fahrenheit thing. It comes with this included clip, so if you want to mount it, it's got some 3M tape. You put this at the back, and then you can put this here, and that, I guess, allows you if you want to move it around for whatever reason, which is a nice feature, and once again, it's included in the $40 price point. And so that's the basics of it until we pull up the app. And so the app is what you would expect. You pull out your smartphone. You, you, know, you got to download it and pair it and everything like that, and I've already done that. The process is easy enough to understand. It's certainly not as bad as it used to be with other devices, but I wouldn't say it's as smooth as the sensor push or the Bovida. The sensor push in particular is really, really a smooth operation. So once you pull up the app, it kind of looks like this, and you can see that immediately right off the bat, I'm getting some temperature alerts. Now, what's interesting about this is that uh, I've set these alerts to tell me when uh, the relative humidity or the temperature goes outside of a range, which is something that most smart hygrometers offer. 
The annoying part about this is that it doesn't give me push notifications. It'll only give me this data uh, if I go into the app, which is weird. The next part that's weird is this loading screen, and it's now turned into loaded. Now, I was using the app earlier because this is oddly not my first take. And despite this, it's now going to load something. I presume data, but what's weird about it is that if I want to, I can pull up the data points. And so I can see where it was moments ago with you know crazy detail. So it's giving me within you know a hundredth of a percent here. And I can pull up any of this data and I can do it throughout the week. I can randomly go to any plot point here and, and find things. I can do it with the month and I can change it to Fahrenheit. And all this stuff's working um, despite this loaded screen. I can't access the settings menu for some weird reason. And the app is kind of weird from there. I must have meant to turn it because of the, the camera angles here. So that's the, the screen that you would want to use. And if you're wondering what else is in here, and that's the main screen, you've got these five things on the bottom. So it starts with products and it gives you the option to add other products from the company to this app, which I guess if you have everything sort of paired together in a smart home scenario might be okay. Um, admittedly a bit weird. Uh, weirder yet is deals. So like just blatantly trying to sell you things, which is something that I guess isn't entirely uncommon, but also this is pretty blatant and kind of weird. Uh, that's the main screen. You've got your service options here, um, which gives you some questions, although most of these are in the manual. And then you have something called My Profile, which is something I, I really haven't figured out what to do yet. And so if you go back here, you can see that now it's going to restart this screen and, and keep going, I, I guess. I don't know. And this is sort of the problem with the Gobi. This app uh, is not up to par. The sensor push and the Bovida apps are so much better. Um, it's not that this is that problematic. But there are features that those two things have and without any of the bugs. For example, the push notifications are a huge thing. And it's perhaps that I haven't configured this correctly, although I would consider myself fairly tech savvy and I, I haven't gotten it to work yet. Uh, that's something that's really annoying. It's great to be able to know, um, particularly with sensor push, where you can get it anywhere in the world. Uh, when your humidor is dropping below a certain uh, relative humidity or when the temperature is high, did you accidentally leave it open? Things like that are all great about the push notifications and really probably the best feature of having the smart hygrometers to begin with. That doesn't work. The loaded screen that's not really moving very quickly, as you can see here, is another annoying feature that I don't find in any of the other devices. And as such, it becomes very challenging to recommend this device. At $40, it's somewhere in between the Bovida and the Sensor Push. The Bovida is 20, the Sensor Push is 50. It doesn't really work as well as either one of them, though it does have the screen. And the good news is, is that this is all a software-based issue. So this part of the equation seems to work quite well. And the good news is, is that if you want the screen, if you need the screen, you can get this, you can deal with an app, and you can hope that Govi updates it at some point. If not, it's pretty much impossible for me to recommend this. My recommendation would be to buy two of these for the same price, or if you have to have the Wi-Fi option, to go ahead and buy the sensor push. Now, Gobi does make a Wi-Fi device, a Wi-Fi version of this. I've not tested it, uh, but it looks basically identical. The only difference is that rather than $40, it's $75, meaning that it is one and a half times the cost of the sensor push, which as far as I'm concerned, is the best device on the table. So for more reviews of hygrometers, smart hygrometers, humidors, and just about everything else related to cigars, check out halfwill.com.